hot guys as me, Jackson, and I just got an order for a hot gym. But they also wanted a crotch room, which I've never done before. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a crotch room with your existing hot gym. So first, you're going to go to svgshredder.com, then upload your image. So here, right here, I'm going to do, it's A, you can do whatever you want. And here, you're going to go download SVG. Next, you're going to go to tinderfed.com, and then create a redesign. With while you're here, I like to make the snap grid, and I'll also bring in this measuring tool. And then once you do that, you're going to import your object, which should be this one right here, the latest one. You're going to make sure it's art, then the dimensions. You can make the largest one 170. So for me, it's the width, but for you, it could be the length. Just make that 170, and now you're going to import it. So once it brings in, you're going to make the quality as max, which is 24. Then you're going to make the height 0.37. Once it loads, you're going to make a copy. I go to Control C, Control V. And here you're going to make the height 0.3. And make the fill mode and silhouette. Okay, so now once you have your default and your silhouette, this next step is kind of optional. So my logo doesn't need it. If you're does, I'm going to show you how to do it. I'm going to copy that silhouette and make the fill mode an outer one. I'm going to make the line width. I'm going to make the line width 0.15. And then here you would select all of your objects and click align and click this middle one and this one right here. And then so it's fine. You didn't need an outer line. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this. And if your logo does, don't delete it. So now that you have your hype chain, you're going to go to this make or blank. Click the make or link. You're going to download the STL slash personals. You're going to download this crop charm based on STL. Download that. Then you're going to go back to Tinker account and import. That file should be this top one right here. But you're not going to mess with any of this stuff and you just click import. <laughs> And then just to be clear, this right here is your hype chain. And then, so now you're going to make this, you're going to make the width one inch. So you're basically going to go to divide this dimension by itself, which would give you one. And then now you're going to take this dimension divided by this dimension. And then for that, it's going to get me 0.8. Three, six, zero. Show me that. So there is our. And then now it's a little bit too tall. So we're going to make it point one six tall. Now that it's point one six tall, you're going to move it over to your crack charm. And then, so this is two point four six. And now we're going to need to raise that by how So you're going to raise it up. Then you're going to make basically this green one where that dimension was. So that, enter. It's an outswatch. So now you can select them, align them to the center, and then that center. And if you feel that that's not off, that, that is like off center, you can move it with your arrow keys. Well, I think that. So it doesn't look that good. So I'm going to move it to right there. I'm going to inspect the bottom of it to make sure you like it. Then now here, you can just select them both. Group them. And you're going to export it as an STL. And from here, you're just going to bring it to Mavis Studio. So once you're in Mavis Studio, you can create a new project. And then you're going to add this top design right here. Which should be your crop charm. And now you just basically color it. So now we're going to color it. So you're going to click this coloring option. And here I'm going to make the base color white because that's the base color. And now I'm going to need only three colors white, an orange, and a black. So I'm basically going to color how it is. So the black is the, the inner, so the inside one. So this, and this is a little trick I learned. So you turn, turn off edge detection, 
I'm going to the top with it on. And here you can just color this. And sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does work. So like over here, it doesn't work for the black. So you're gonna have to turn that back on. You can color it manually. So I'm gonna get here. These little areas. And then you can also, if that still doesn't work, you also this smart fill angle. You can raise that a little bit, like five maybe. And then that's slow, so maybe like, let's try 13, let's say. Nope, let's try 20, 25. And then 25 seems to have worked. So now I'm just going to color the rest of this. And uh, you can lower lower and raise the smart fill angle if it's taking a while to color. So now we're going inside this triangle. Boom. And, and then inside right here. Boom, boom, and boom. Then now we're gonna color this off. So this, this, and looks like it. So now we're gonna color the orange. And then the orange is this outside, this inner triangle. Well, again, I'm gonna make sure this smart fill is kind of high. It's easier for you to color. I'll color the inside of these walls, orange. Mm -hmm. And inside the triangle, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so now that you have the color, you make sure it looks, looks how you like it, want it to be. And now you're going to turn on supports. So here it's pretty simple, you're going to literally just click support. So turn it on and make sure the type is free auto. And then now here you're gonna slice it. Once it slices, you're gonna see all that green that green stuff is the support. You should be able to just rip that off when it's finished printing. So now I'll go see when we're finished printing it.